I'm not gonna lie to you guys, every time I stand up from the couch or my bed, because I sometimes I sleep on the couch, sometimes I sleep on my bed, every time I stand up, I'm, I'm not gonna lie, I have the thought, oh my gosh, I hope I don't lose my baby when I stand up this time. And I can't help it, I really can't. Um, I'm terrified. I've never had a miscarriage, I've never lost a baby, and I'm just, I'm just really scared. <laughs> How's it going? So today I am 16 weeks pregnant and I have so much to talk to you guys about. I just, this is going to be a vlog, you guys. <laughs> first things first, before I get into all of that, I have to shout out my amazing subscribers. Oh my gosh, you guys are incredible. In my last video when I did the important baby update, the amount of love and support and encouragement that I got from you guys is just overwhelming. I was just so overwhelmed with gratitude by how much you guys supported me and encouraged me and were, and were there for me and I just can't even begin to explain to you guys how happy and grateful I am. I honestly think I have like the best subscribers ever. You guys are just awesome. I always share with you guys my symptoms first so I'm going to first tell you what symptoms I've had this week. If you watched my important baby update, if you haven't I'll link it down below so that you can watch it if you're new to my channel. But if you watched it you know that I had a lot of bleeding that day which was a Tuesday. I had a lot of bleeding. Um, I had a lot of bleeding that night the next day on Wednesday it was like brownish Thursday it was still a little bit brownish and yesterday it was completely gone and today it's been completely gone I've also had some pretty sharp cramps since Tuesday it's just been like it'll be sharp for a little while like a couple minutes and then it'll go away I was told that if I have any more heavy bleeding or sharp cramps that last a, a while to go to the ER so um, that's something that I have to be watching out for. For the first time ever in the whole 16 weeks of this pregnancy, I'm finally feeling fatigue. But I think that I'm feeling it because I'm stressed. Because it's not that kind of fatigue where it just knocks you off your feet and you feel like you have to nap a lot. It's not that kind of fatigue. It's just overall tiredness and I think it has to do with stress because Tuesday was pretty stressful Wednesday was Thursday was and Friday was starting to get a little bit bit a little bit better and today I feel myself more myself I'm pretty sure that's what the fatigue was related to cravings this week I'm craving a cheeseburger and fries so bad you guys but that's been the newest craving for the past couple of weeks another symptom this week is uh, being hormonal I complain about this a lot anyway though <laughs> this week probably because again stress um, I'm sorry but Tuesday was very stressful and I'm pretty sure it's like common sense probably why I was so hormonal and why I was crying a lot so I don't know if I really need to explain this one but uh, very hormonal this week and for pretty obvious reasons. I'm going to do a weight update. Last time I updated you guys on my weight, I uh, was 155. I'm still 155. Guys, I've maintained my weight for the past what? Let me think here. Let me think. I don't actually know. I'd have to actually go back and watch my vlogs, but I, I think this is the what? Fourth week in a row? Correct me if I'm wrong. If you guys know, correct me in the comments down below. But I think this is the fourth week in a row that I've maintained my weight. That's crazy to me because, as I've told you guys, with Carly and Kenley both, I gained 50 pounds each on their pregnancy. I always gain about 10 in my first trimester, 20 in my second, 20 in my third. And you're only pregnant for 40 weeks. Well, 40-ish weeks, give or take. And really, I delivered both Carly and Kenley at 37 weeks and 3 days on Tuesdays. Yeah, I know. If that's not crazy, <laughs> I don't know what is. Like, you can't plan that. Apparently my uterus has a timer and it goes off at 37 and 3, so I think it's pretty crazy too. <laughs> but with the girls by this time, I felt pregnant, I looked pregnant, I was gaining weight pretty regularly, like a pound, pound and a half a week, sometimes more, it just depended. And I've maintained my weight and it's kind of like, wow, okay, this is, uh, this is nice. <laughs> I'm certainly not going to complain. I am feeling so many flutters nowadays, you guys. It's only when I lay down because, you know, baby's still very tiny. I feel flutters all the time now when I lay down. I feel little flutters go across my belly and up my belly a little bit to where my, like, uterus is, my 
uterus is above my belly button at this point so I can even sometimes sometimes feel flutters going up my belly it's so exciting because I know in like another month ish I'm gonna start feeling more than just flutters I think with the girls I started feeling like actual movement sometime after 20 weeks but not very long after that like 21 22 weeks maybe it was 21 but I know for a fact that by 22 weeks I'm feeling movement movement so I'm really excited it's like my favorite part of pregnancy I love feeling baby moves and not only I can feel it and it's a very special bond between just me and baby that we only share for a little little time <laughs> um, but it's my favorite part and I'm so excited to feel bigger movement a symptom that I'm suddenly having that I did not have with the girls. TMI guys, just hello. TMI, this is your warning. I have zero sex drive. And that is not normal for me at all. But when I was pregnant with the girls, my sex drive never changed. I was always interested. I was always willing. And with this baby, all of a sudden, well, I mean, besides the fact that I'm suddenly on bed rest and I can't have sex, but uh, if I, even if I weren't, you know, on bed rest, I would still not want to have sex because I don't know why. <laughs> just all of a sudden, I'm not interested. I just don't, I just don't want to. I don't know if that's actually got to do with like pregnancy symptoms or if it's because I'm so freaked out and scared to lose this baby. Uh, maybe it's both. I really don't know. I just know that all of a sudden, for the first time ever, I have no sex drive. Just add it to the list that makes this baby's pregnancy so much different than the girls. <laughs> I'm still having heartburn like crazy. It still kills me. Actually, I need some Tums right now. Hold on, guys. I probably need to go get some. Holy cow, you guys. It's like constantly putting out a fire. It's <laughs> just all I do. I constantly put out the fire that is just burning up my throat. So I'm still having that problem. I probably will always have this problem throughout my pregnancy because with the girls, I started having heartburn in my third trimester. So if I'm already experiencing it now, yeah, this is a symptom that's not going to go away. <laughs> okay, now to get into all the other news that I have to tell you guys, and I'm not going to lie, it's kind of a lot, so <laughs> buckle up. Uh, first things first, I want to shout out Nate and Wes and the rest. They're a channel that I uh, recently found that I've grown to really like. They just announced their pregnancy. They have twin boys, and now they're expecting another baby, hopefully twins, right? Uh, and <laughs> I wanted to shout them out. I will have their links down below so you can check them out too, but congratulations you guys on your pregnancy. As you guys know from watching my uh, important baby update, I have something called a placental abruption and I've been put on very strict bed rest. I'm not gonna lie to you guys, every time I stand up from the couch or my bed, because I sometimes I'll sleep on the couch, sometimes I'll sleep on my bed, every time I stand up, I'm, I'm not gonna lie, I have the thought, oh my gosh, I hope I don't lose my baby when I stand up this time. And I can't help it. I really can't. Um, I'm terrified. I've never had a miscarriage. I've never lost a baby. And I'm just, I'm just really scared. But I try to stay positive. That's kind of what I'm going through right now. I've been on bed rest as much as I can, though. And obviously, my bleeding is decreasing, and I have no bleeding now. So uh, I'm really hoping that, what I, that this placental abruption will heal itself. And that everything will be okay and by the time that I have my anatomy scan that's coming up uh, everything will be healed and I could be off bed rest but I'm not putting all my hopes into it because they told me that it was pretty bad so I'm trying to be hopeful but at the same time I'm not trying to get too confident speaking of anatomy scans uh, we have ours booked and I'm hold on just give me a second cuz I'm just so happy I just need to take a minute to soak it in I am so happy I can't wait I love the anatomy scan I think every pregnant woman who wants to find out the gender of the baby this is like one of the favorite moments <laughs> of your pregnancy we'll know before the month is out and I'm really hoping to do the uh, gender slash name reveal either the first week of October or the second week of October I really don't know which one I just don't know when we're gonna be able to do it at the latest I want to do it the second week of October so you guys will know what we're having uh, pretty soon after we know and I'm so excited I can't wait I can't wait to announce if, if it's a boy or a girl because I really don't care whichever one we have I just can't can't wait I'm so excited so even though I'm on bed rest I am NOT going to let that stop me from vlogging as long as I have a camera and as long as I have a way to vlog I'm going to now granted most of my vlogs nowadays are gonna have to be sit down because <laughs> I can't really you know stand I love my subscribers I love you guys I love seeing your comments I love interacting with you all and I just love what I do I love I love vlogging so I'm not going to let bed rest stop me from doing that in other baby news, Devin and I might not name this baby a name that starts with the letter D. 
I don't know, guys. Uh, we're having a hard time finding a D name, and there's actually another name that was mentioned to me that I really, really like, and Dev and I are debating on it, so... I don't know guys, this baby might not have a D name. If you have any suggestions for this baby's name, by all means drop them down below. I will read them, I will consider them, I will shoot it over to Devin and we'll talk about it. I am open to any suggestions because we are still having a hard time naming this kid. With Carly and Kinley we already had them named before I was out of my first trimester. So I'm like, oh, I just want this baby named. In my next pregnancy vlog, just to give you guys like something to look forward to, I'm going to be talking about baby's nursery. I'm going to be talking about sleeping arrangements and breastfeeding and all kinds of stuff. So those are the topics that I'm going to be covering next pregnancy vlog, so be sure to look for that. I can't do a belly shot because I can't stand up and talk about my belly, but I did take a picture, so I'll show you guys my picture. Don't forget guys to follow all my social media. The links are down below. I recently got a Snapchat. <laughs> I've never like used Snapchat before, but I really like it. So make sure you guys add me on Facebook, Instagram, and Snapchat. All of those links are down below. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll probably see you on Monday. Bye.